How did you get a pet squirrel? I wanted to address this comment because comments like it were one of the most popular questions on our last video. And this might confuse some people, but Uno is not a pet. Now, I know what you're thinking. Alexis, he lives in your house and you feed him. But there are a couple of very important reasons why we never refer to Uno as a pet. Reason number one, wild squirrels make terrible pets. And sadly, most people who take in a baby squirrel from the wilds with the intention of making a pet don't realize that until the squirrel's about three months old. That's when their hormones kick in and a cute, lovable baby squirrel can turn into an aggressive, territorial, and downright dangerous teenager. And at that point, 99% of those squirrels go from pampered house guests to kicked out in the wilds with little to no survival skills. Because we recognize Uno as a wild, unpredictable, and destructive animal and have no expectations of him being anything other than that, he'll never be abandoned. Reason number two is Uno didn't choose to be a pet and we didn't choose him. Uno is one of hundreds of orphaned and injured baby squirrels that have come into our rehab over the past three years, and all of the others who survived were released to the wild successfully. The goal was always for him to be healthy enough to release into the wild world, but sometimes things just aren't meant to be. Uno relies on us for survival, but reason number three is that Uno has a special job that makes him more than just a pet. Uno has been a buddy to many other single squirrels who have come into rehab, and helps them learn important squirrel behavior before going back to the wild. He also helps us share important messages about wildlife as a wildlife ambassador. The distinction might seem trivial, but this guy will never be a pet, and that's a good thing.